We already know the HTC One is a fast phone, but do you wish it were just a little faster? I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is a before and after with an overclocked HTC One. Powered by a 1.7 GHz quad-core Snapdragon 600 chipset, the HTC One is already one of the fastest and most powerful smartphones ever. To date, we have reviewed the HTC One twice. In both reviews, it scored an impressive 9.2 and 8.8 out of 10. Performance ratings were great as well. The global version consistently scored over 12,000 in Quadrant Standard, as did the Sprint model. It averaged 2640 in Geekbench and 959 milliseconds in the SunSpider JavaScript test. It maintains solid performance through just about anything you throw at it. It cuts through both lightweight, everyday tasks and intensive multitasking or gaming without skipping a beat. Its performance was off the charts, at least in comparison to existing smartphones. But for some, that just isn't enough. One of the few ways you can make your Android smartphone faster than it is out of the box is by overclocking the processor. This is done by flashing a custom kernel, which enables the user to set the clock speed of the CPU to a faster speed than it was originally intended. Take a phone that has a 1.5 GHz processor to 1.6 or 1.7 GHz. Take a phone like the HTC One with a 1.7 GHz processor to 2 GHz and beyond. It's a way to push your phone to its absolute limit for better everyday performance, better benchmark scores, and, of course, bragging rights, if that's your sort of thing. For a high-profile device like the HTC One, there are plenty of custom kernels to choose from. The kernel we chose for this video is called Elemental X by Floor2, and it's linked in the description below. And installation is quite simple. Download the zip file, move it to the phone's internal storage, boot to recovery, and flash the zip, just like you would for any other custom ROM or mod. Then reboot. Twice. Not every kernel flash is the same. Elemental X uses the Aroma installer, which lets you customize the flash process and tweak the kernel to your specs. The first time through, we felt bold and flashed the maximum clock speed, 2.16 GHz. But we quickly ran into trouble. We ran just one full benchmark, which wasn't all that great just over 22,000 in Antutu. So we started another. The phone got no more than 10 seconds into the test before it reached a temperature of over 110 degrees Fahrenheit and shut down. It wouldn't take a charge, and no amount of pressing the power button helped. It finally turned back on after two nail-biting hours. We strongly advise caution when dealing with low-level system files. Take some precautions. Make backups of everything, make sure you know what you're doing, and read into the files you're downloading. Check what others are saying about it in the forum thread, and follow instructions to a T. The second time around, we chose a clock speed just shy of 2 GHz, and overclocked the GPU as well. At first, the differences aren't all that noticeable. The phone was fast to begin with, so noticing a difference takes a keen eye, and even side by side, it's not easy to tell which is faster. Applications open almost instantly, and jumping between recent apps happens in a blur. It's difficult to discern, but we can't help but feel the overclocked one just felt a half step faster than the stock one in every little action. It just felt a tad more zippy. Where you see the biggest improvement is in synthetic benchmark tests. The stock one had a quadrant standard average of 12,000 compared to the 13,000 average after overclocking. And with the stock clock speed, the one scored an average of 25,000 in the Intutu test versus the 26,000 average after overclocking to just shy of 2 GHz. Most will never notice the difference, which is why overclocking isn't for everyone. And remember, we didn't choose the highest clock speed for this video. If you take the time to tinker with the settings and different configurations, the benefits will be much more notable. But it's not always worth having the fastest phone when it gets hot enough to fry eggs, or worse, turns itself into a very expensive paperweight. That's going to do it for this video, so if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button below. Follow us in all the typical places, Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at Pocket Now. I'm Taylor Martin, and you can find me on Twitter at CasperTech, and I'll see you next time.